This is Toby, our giant schnauzer. If you've been watching our channel very long, you've probably seen our giant schnauzer in several of the videos. Uh, he's a really great dog. He is a giant schnauzer. Giant schnauzers are, uh, there's three different size schnauzers. They're all distinct breeds. You've got the miniature schnauzer, the standard schnauzer, and the giant schnauzer. Giant schnauzers are called giants uh, mainly because they're bigger than the, the mini and the standard, uh, not because they are giant compared to many other breeds. He's probably uh, on the larger side of some giant schnauzers. I'd say he's probably about 100 pounds, maybe just a little bit less. He's a farm dog. Giant schnauzers are used uh, for, uh, you know, police dogs and drug dogs. They've got a really great nose so they can uh, smell really well. They're very trainable but you've got to uh, be firm with a dog but very loving. I'm kind of of the uh, opinion that you don't really have to do a lot of uh, defense training for dogs because they will pick that up uh, immediately uh, as long as you teach them you know to you know respect and you teach them that they are part of the family. They feel like they've got skin in the game then they're going to uh, protect your family. So we've not done anything as far as that but for our family Family. He serves uh, in a lot of ways as a protector for our children. Uh, he follows our kids around all over this farm. Uh, wherever the kids go, he goes as well. Uh, I believe very much that uh, he would eat someone alive if they started messing with our kids back here. So uh, if you decide to uh, uh, to come back here and mess with us, and mess with our kids, then be prepared to deal with this. I've worked with him some, uh, training him. Uh, he uh, can sit and stay, he can uh, place. Give me five. <laughs> We decided to get a giant schnauzer, not because we'd had any experience with giant schnauzers, uh, but because we had a miniature schnauzer and we really loved him. His name was Beldar and we really loved that breed, but uh, we wanted a bigger dog. We really enjoy larger animals. The miniature schnauzers are uh, really great animals, but uh, Beldar was a little yippy in some ways. He barks a lot too. That's his job. He's kind of an alert dog. He lets us know what's going on. I think he thinks he's one of the kids actually. Whatever they're doing, he's doing as well. They were initially bred to be cattle dogs, herding dogs, so they would help uh, you know, herd cattle. He doesn't really do much with the cattle. He does help me with the pigs. He'll herd the pigs. Sometimes the pigs will get out of the uh, electric fence that I have them in and uh, he'll help chase them down because he's faster than I am. Pigs are pretty fast and he'll wear them down. He's never bitten into one. Uh, he will kind of gum them, you know, to try to, you know, get them to stay. He's had his mouth around uh, Steve Earle and uh, some of our other little pigs. Uh, but I've never seen any wound. They're bred from uh, the standard schnauzer. They uh, tried to you know, increase the size of the breed. Sit. Good boy. Uh, they wanted a larger breed. They crossed them with Great Danes, maybe the Bouvier, uh, maybe the Black Russian Terrier. One of the only things that I don't like about this uh, breed of dog uh, is that, uh, you know, I've got to groom him. I don't really like uh, grooming the dogs. I don't like paying for the dogs to be groomed. Uh, we have uh, had him groomed a couple times. Mostly I do it. I'm not really great at it. Uh, but one of the great things about the breed uh, is that uh, they're more hypoallergenic than most. There is no such thing as a completely hypoallergenic dog, a dog that doesn't shed. Uh, so he does shed, uh, but they don't shed as much. And that's a, you know, a really great thing about them if you're gonna have them in a house. I would not suggest a dog like this uh, for an apartment, uh, for a little place. Uh, they're known uh, to have lots of energy. They've got, they call them zoomies where they zoom around and all that stuff. Actually, to be honest, uh, Toby doesn't really do that very much because uh, in the morning he gets up and he starts working. He follows around these kids all over the farm. He goes back and forth from the pond uh, to see what's going on up there because we've got uh, our great Pyrenees up there. Nan and Papa have a giant schnauzer as well. Uh, so he goes up there, he sees a Nan and Papa. He's got so much, you know, he just goes back and forth and back and forth. And by the end of the day, he's just out. He just lays down and he's completely zonked. He's a good dog. He is uh, very helpful. Oh, there's a whole lot of uh, great benefits uh, to having a family dog and you know he's part of the family. The breed has two main colors, black like this and then salt and pepper. Uh, pepper and salt, I'm not sure if it's uh, if 
it matters to say salt and pepper or pepper and salt. Some people crop their ears like the Doberman Pinschers. I don't, I don't like their ears like that. Some people really like that, uh, you know, no judgment. It's just cosmetic for the most part. In Europe, they've outlawed uh, cropping ears, you know, for cosmetic reasons and docking tails. You see his tail? It's docked. Well, I like their tails docked. You know, that's cosmetic as well. They've outlawed that in Europe as well. Okay, break. Break. So this is the giant schnauzer. We haven't had any health issues from him. He'll be two this month, and that's when they say they're full grown. Large breeds are puppies until they're two. But if you have any questions about the giant schnauzer, I would love for you to put them down below. If you know anything about the giant schnauzer, I'd like to share those things. I would love to hear those things as well. Great breed. I uh, wouldn't recommend it for small spaces. If you've got a farm, uh, you know, give them a job, make sure they have a job to do. We're here almost all the time. Uh, so a lot of people say that, you know, their giants get lonely at home. Uh, he does not get lonely because he's with us all the time. And he's part of our farm, so we thought we'd include that and let you know a little bit more about him. If you like things like this, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, select all, so you never miss a notification. Come back every day. We do a new video every day at noon. Thanks. Can you say bye, Toby? Bye, everyone. I hope you have a good day. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day, everyone.